shift from side to side, bring the leg forward, and have them shift over a lunged position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hands, nice wide contact, flat surfaces over the patient's hip extensors. If I need to, I will use my lower extremity to block theirs. If there's any instability at the knee, I can come in like this on the stool and just make sure that the knee is nice and stable. I notice that he's leaning a little bit to his right, so what I'm going to do is use a little light facilitation to just bring him back to his left and have him hold it right there. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Outstanding. So I'm going to bring him back to where he was. Now, can you go back to that spot I just showed you? Very good. Now I see that he's able to find his center, he's able to find a point of stability over which we can start moving his weight around a little bit. So from this position, I'm just going to move your hips forward with my hands and I just want you to kind of move forward with me, okay? So come forward again, I'm blocking here at his knee, if there's any instability, and then back to this position that I showed you. Very good, let's move back a little bit, bring your hips back, very good. Back to that center position that I showed you, very good. Let's slide your weight to your right. Very good, and then back to the middle. Again, making sure that the patient is aware of their middle and going back to the same position each time. Sh uh, slide your weight to your left. Very good, then go back to the middle. At this point, what I'm going to have the patient do is shift their weight and then bend a knee, like they would in a normal walking pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is have you shift to your right side and bend your left knee. So again, I'm maintaining contact here at the knee. If there's any instability, straighten out that knee and then shift your weight back to the middle. Now let's shift your weight to your left side. Very good. Making sure that he's able to hold his weight over his affected knee. If there is any instability, again, I'm there with my leg blocking. And then bend your right knee. Very good. Straighten out that knee and come back to the middle. At this point, I'm comfortable enough with the patient putting weight over his affected side to ask him to take a step forward with his unaffected side. So we're going to have you shift your weight to your left and then bring your right foot forward. Take a step forward. If at this point the patient needs an assist to bring the foot forward, I can use my leg, my foot, or some other assistive device to bring that foot forward. Now that you're in this lunge step position, let's have you uh, lean your hips forward towards me. Very good, back, and then back towards me one more time, and then back. You can bring your right foot back, and go back to that middle position that I showed you. Again, these are excellent techniques to get your patient ready to walk on their own.